back. In this video, we'll see how to create a custom image in Azure by using Packer. So for this, we'll, we'll take one Linux server as an example and one Windows server as an example. By using custom JSON templates, we will see how we can create the custom images inside the Azure with the Packer. So as a prerequisite, we already discussed what is service principle, how we can create the service principle and how we can use the service principle that I have explained in my previous video. You guys can check it out. And also I've gathered some information here when I'm creating service principle in the previous video session, right? I've gathered information here. We'll see how we can use this information in order to deploy the machine inside the Azure now. For that, what I need, I need a JSON template. From where I'll get a JSON template? I do have a couple of JSON templates which I have uploaded into my GitHub repository. So let's go to GitHub and under Maverick Cloud is GitHub repository, public repository, Azure Packer. In that I have uploaded two JSON templates, one for Windows, one for Linux. So I want to download everything into my local desktop. How to do that? Let's see very quickly. So I'll go to PowerShell, go to Packer, sorry, desktop, my bad, and Packer, right? And you'll see only packer.exe is in it. So what I need to do, I need to clone that repository inside here. Git clone. I'll go back to the portal and copy this URL. Paste it here. That's it. Done. Right. Let's go back and see you have Azure Packer folder inside the files were created .git is config file that you can ignore it and this file also you can ignore it so you have your custom linux json and custom windows json files available for deployment so i will copy pack a file and I place inside so this is my current working directory i don't know why it is right done so let me go to my visual studio okay and go to file open and something example here pack a demo Azure Packer and custom Linux. Okay, if you look at this is what the complete template in order to deploy custom image inside the Azure. Let's have a quick look before we go ahead and deploy it. So as mentioned in earlier session, in custom JSON template syntax, if you consider, it starts with builder. What kind of deployment are you doing? You need to specify type of builder is Azure ARM means you're trying to deploy this JSON template in Azure. That's what you're saying in short. If you want to deploy in Azure, boss, you need all these things. From where you'll get, I already have it. So get the subscription ID, copy and replace here. For your information, these things you shouldn't share with anyone okay ideally in this video also i need to blur it it's okay once the demo is done i will delete these keys and all client id and copy the tenant id and replace the tenant ID. right and the client secret what we have generated this is your password Replace it here. Done. Save it. Now, managed image resource group. I will say Packer demo. Do we have a Packer demo resource group inside the Azure? Let's go back to Azure and see Packer service principle is created from here. What we copied all the details. Client ID, tenant ID and the certificate. 
or secret key okay now go to resource groups you will see a lot of these resource groups here but there's no resource group with the name packer demo let me copy this and create a one more resource group here because once image is created that image will come and save under this resource group packer demo okay next create what it is saying all right create then packer demo in us if we go inside brand new packer demo and there's nothing here once the image is created you will see custom image over here right and what is the image name linux underscore july 20. this is what the image i want to create this is the image name once the image is created this will be the image name that i would like to see inside the portal okay and then os type what kind of operating system that you are deploying linux publisher and ubuntu if you want you can specify 2004 as well if you know the image sku right tags mm, department not applicable task i'll say packer demo okay where you are deploying location is east us and vm size is standard ds2 v2 is the size means what it will do when you execute the script this packer will execute something in azure that will go ahead and deploy one linux server with the configuration you specified and where it will go and deploy in east us okay and it will deploy the size standard ds2 v2 fine with this the provisional section the sort of builder section is done right once the builder section is done it's provisional's duty once the server is created it's okay d2s ds2 v2 sorry ds2 v2 vm is created after that tool itself login into the server and execute the following commands that is what you need to specify inside the provisionals execute change mode under path and inline execute the following commands means while it within the bash prompt execute the straight away execute the following commands just run the update okay and install the nginx right after that deprovision the user remove the configuration temporary configuration and create the image everything under shell script you need to run it under shell prompt right so this is what you specified in the provisional section that's it means in short what you are trying to achieve with this script you are deploying one one linux server inside the azure and installing some custom software which is nginx in my case inside the azure virtual machine and convert that entire server into one custom image in that custom image you will have nginx operating system latest patches everything and also if you want to install your organization's related stuff like custom tools like uh, red hat if you are using a red hat satellite you can install agent or if you are ma managing everything through nginx sorry uh, what we call it as um, custom man what we call it as monitoring tools and stuff right uh, bmc patrol right and other uh, true site agents all this stuff man okay yeah now i got it these things if you want to integrate or if you want to integrate some custom application inside those things also you can integrate inside in short in short provisional section will give you what all the custom softwares that 
you want to install inside right in my case i'm trying to install only nginx that's it okay fine now i'm ready with the script so i just want to make sure is there any syntax errors so how to validate go to packer folder and just execute ls there is a azure packer folder go inside ls so packer.exe custom linux my bad cancel packer.exe validate custom linux json let's see what it says right no error reported let me remove one comma save and again validate see line number 10 error so like this you can validate save now again no error right so what is next step packer build is the syntax okay and custom linux.json right it is deploying and finished too quick now if you look at it is trying to getting the to secret token and all and all and all okay and some error this is what i specified in the previous video okay let me go back to my presentation assign permission for your service principal this is what i said please remember we'll add the permission into the portal without the permission you will not be able to execute something inside the azure that is the reason why it is getting this error right but this tool is not that much intelligent enough to get the actual error why it is unable to deploy it because because azure doesn't provide any verbose why it is unable to deploy it okay so what is next step go to subscription subscription and select the subscription which you want to allow so in this subscription i want to assign a permission for that i need to go to access control add assignment role assignment what kind of role we can assign contributor role means he can do anything okay now what i will do i will add packer see packer service principle has been popped up just save it now mean what i did packer service principle is there no that I gave a full permission for that service principle inside my one of the subscription it can go and deploy anything it, okay contributor access it can go and deploy anything inside that subscription only done now go back to the command line and run the same command it should work now without any error see it's creating so creating a resource group and deploying the stuff we have to wait for at least three or four minutes in order to complete the deployment right let's go back to the portal and validate go to resource groups you will see one resource group has been created manually one resource group has been created by packer packer resource group some random number and inside the resource group it will keep on deploying the resources it packer tool itself create one virtual network one public ip one nic card one subnet one virtual machine login to the virtual machine install the custom software it will do everything by its own you don't need to worry you just you just monitor the script here see server disk network public ip and network sorry vnet right 
all these things got deployed by Packer. You'll see. Let's wait and watch what it will throw. Okay. Let me pause this for a while until the deployment is finished because we have nothing to do here. So I'll pause the recording and we will continue once the deployment is finished completely. Right. If you look at deployment is almost finished and it is now installing the custom software inside. Okay. It is updating the Linux patches. Once this is done, it will also install the Nginx. Let's see, somewhere you will see now Nginx being installed. See, Nginx core, Nginx. It is, it is installing the custom Nginx software inside. Now, this custom software is also deployed. What it is doing, it is deleting the WA agent and clearing the DHCP cache and disabling the root password and removing other stuff. And also creating custom image we have to wait for a few seconds in order to create the custom image and once the image is created whatever the newly created custom resource group custom virtual machine custom network everything will be washed out completely and your image will be get saved into the resource group what you have specified inside the script let's go back to the script and see these two will remain same at the end whatever the temporary deployment that it has done with this 15 or 20 odd lines of code will be vanished completely upon image creation powering of vm so what it will do it will simply create a vm image let's go back and to the portal and go to all resources you will see packer deployed resources and go to virtual machine you will see machine will be deallocating deallocating right so once this is completely deallocated it will create a custom image out of it and disappear from the portal let me go back so we'll have to wait until this finishes we can't do anything Still it is screened in. Meanwhile, what I will do rather than looking for this, we'll go back to Visual Studio and check the windows. Anyway, I would like to deploy the windows as well, right? So copy. I want to use the same service principle. I don't want to change anything. Service principle will be the same here as well save rest all as it is so what i want to do i want to use same packer demo resource group under this resource group i want to use windows 2019 july 20 is the custom image okay operating system version is windows 2019 when i created the image july 2020 so again if you go back to the syntax azure arm which will remain constant and your service principle details where you want to keep your target resource group your image will be placed in this and what is the image name rest all as i said os publisher kind of version and how you want to install it what kind of user that you want to use it inside the windows that you need to specify here and tags na and whatever the task name packer 
table. Where you want to deploy? In East US only, the same size. In this case, your provisioners will give you PowerShell commands. Means you need to install something inside the Windows Server, but you have to specify it in your PowerShell command line format. Once that is done, it will automatically create and configure the provisioners inside the machine and create the custom image. Just save it. Let's see if Windows, sorry, if Linux one is done, it is still struck at power of virtual machine. Let me go back and refresh it. Stopped, deallocated. It might not received. Just refresh it. It might not receive the output or trigger from the portal. That is the reason why it is still waiting for machine to be powered off and image to be created. Let's wait and watch. See, it is now working. Capturing image. Image is creating with this name. Where? In each device. Once image is created, it will delete the resources completely. Let's see. Come on. Let me go back into resource groups and pack a demo. You will see custom image is created right under packet demo custom image is created so if i want to deploy any new virtual machine go to see that that virtual machine is deployed by packer not by me deploy under resource group resource group one where you want to what is the machine name virtual machine one just for an example east us and image you need to specify private images my items you will see your linux packer custom image select the moment you select this okay location is grayed out that is what i specified here Azure images are region specific images. If you create in East US, you can deploy it in East US. If you create in West US, you can create in West US. And you need to consider for each and every custom image, the amount of storage that is being utilized inside the Azure, the hourly cost or a monthly cost or even yearly cost, whatever you want to consider, the cost is included as part of the, as part of the billing okay if you want to use this image in other location you need to either copy this image onto other location or you need to use your post provisioners inside the packer to copy the images into different locations that is also feasible and you can specify the size and go ahead with the rest of the deployments right this is how you can create the last custom linux image inside the azure without touching anything in Azure from Packer. You can simply run one single command Packer build and JSON file. Let me go back. You see it is deleting whatever the resources that is being deployed by the system. It is deleting everything. Once it is deleted completely, you will see resource groups. This packer resource group is there no this will disappear automatically these resources are still displaying here right so if you keep on refreshing they will go away see one by one they are disappearing let, let me go back to the script it's still showing on liner once done it will show you artifacts has been created let's wait and watch until it finishes Parallelly, if you want, you can run one more command prompt. Open one more command prompt and 
Okay. Desktop, CD Parker, Azure Parker. Okay. So Parker build custom windows. Right. If you want, you can validate custom windows JSON file. We haven't changed anything. Only that service principle. Right. And you can deploy. custom windows image as well my bad build custom windows json as well so one side it is deleting on the other other side it is creating new resource group with a different name it will use another it will execute the algorithm and it will get the new resource group name with random number and start deploying a new machine inside let's see it's being deleted being deleted being deleted let's go back and see done almost done we, we have only two components to be deleted once this is deleted you will see this 6rz will disappear and the new one is 4nw see it is deleting okay go inside you will see couple of components key vault has been created because windows authentication you can't give the username and password inside so what it will do it will create a key vault and fetch the keys to log in into the windows server and execute the commands what you specified in the provisionals so it will do it by itself refresh let's see deployment has been started and you see it is deleted home template OS type and custom image has been created in East US rest everything is done go back and go to resource groups refresh it it will disappear then it's gone the one new one which you are now deploying the windows template it is there now it created one key vault for custom password for your windows login and it's creating custom vnet custom subnet custom virtual machine and custom instructions inside the package and custom software which you want to copy from github or anywhere you can specify in the post provisioners let it complete okay. it will it will take another five or ten minutes let's see where we are now it's still deploying resources so we can't we can't do anything much at the moment just wait and watch until this finishes so once the deployment is completely done what it will do it will create an, another custom image inside my packer demo resource group here what is the image name image name is Windows 2019 July 20 is the image name that you will see here after this script is done right meanwhile I'll pause the video once the com deployment is completely done we'll see the post creation steps in short we'll see whether the image is created or not and we'll conclude the session all right so let me pause the video and we'll see once the deployment is done Hey guys, yeah, it looks like some of the service which is not starting, it's keep on trying. So I might have given some wrong inline PowerShell commands. So until the service won't come up, it won't skip it and it won't continue for the image creation. That is where it struck since very long. So these are the few things that we need to consider while, while assigning the provisioners or while defining the provisioners inside the virtual machine so custom software de deployment okay so what will do we can't we can't do much at this moment on this so what I will do I will cancel the deployment and see removing creating deployment object what it will do it will go ahead and 
if you look at you'll see all the resources got deployed only the service is not coming up you do that it is not creating the custom image that's what I can see and refresh this resource group we need to keep an eye and if the system won't delete it we have to delete it manually right in in short we have done the deployment and custom image creation for Linux very quickly for Windows it took some time and unfortunately the PowerShell commands what I have passed is not getting the required service up and running and it is keep on trying so that is reason that is reason it is not creating any custom image so I have interrupted the deployment so what it is doing it is removing the objects and it is deleting the resource group so I'll just refresh it it will delete the resources in some time and no artifacts will be created in short no windows image will be created for this right anyway we have tested this for Linux this is how we can create custom images for your day-to-day -day operations in Azure by using Packer. So what is the syntax? Very simple. This is the syntax. Packer.exe build and your custom JSON template you have to provide. Right? So I'll stop here. We can consider this as 50-50. 50% of testing is passed and 50% testing is failed. I'll not say it's failed. Only the service part is not coming up. Rest all the deployments is passed and your syntax is correct and your JSON template is correct. Your integration part is also correct. Everything is working fine. Only the image creation part, it is struck that service starting. Unless until the service is not started, we will not make sure whether the custom image is properly equipped with custom software or not. That is the thing I want to make sure. Right? That is where we failed in the Windows part and it is completed on the Linux part. Right? So I'll stop here on this video session for Azure. In the next session, we'll see how we can deploy the custom images or create the custom images inside the AWS like this. What how we created in Azure, we'll do the custom image creations in AWS as well in the next coming video. All right? Thank you. Let's see once the complete script is cancelled or not yeah if you look at cancelling has been requested and it is cleaning the resources deployed in Azure and if you look at cleanly cancel the build after being interrupted means whatever the resources that is being deployed by the script has been completely deleted from the Azure portal let's go back to the Azure portal and see you still see a couple of resources if I refresh it you'll see they will disappear then the one image which is got created is Linux custom image by using Packer which is successfully tested and the Windows one is failed right so once the testing is done I will request you guys as well you have to go back to your subscription okay go to subscription and IAM role assignments you will see a couple of role assignments over here select all the role assignments a couple of these are previously added you'll see and remove I'm removing all the role assignments maybe I have added a couple of them in last month or some of the previous sessions right remove the role assignment means now if you execute the same command you should get an error again because Packer is not authorized to execute something in Azure it should straight away give you the error message done also also go to Active Directory App Registrations App Registrations and 
select the packer service principal and delete because these keys were already exposed and I haven't encrypted I haven't saved in the key vault or something to protect it right this is how you need to practice it right let me stop here and we'll catch up for the AWS testing in the next video right